Welcome back to another video on the Weightless and Triathlete YouTube channel. Uh, I've not posted for a little while uh, for reasons which I will go into a little bit later on. Uh, as a side effect of me not training, uh, I've lost loads and loads of fitness, gained some weight um, and basically just really out of shape uh, annoyingly. But uh, I'm out today trying to get back into a routine from today onwards. It's day one for me, uh, which is Monday the 25th of July. Um, I weighed myself this morning just to get an idea of where I'm at. Uh, I put it on screen now, 183 pounds. I put on screen what that is in kilograms and stone as well. And uh, today's plan is to do a one mile run with uh, three minutes rest and then one mile run with three minutes rest. And that's it. So it's going to be two miles in total um, to get the legs working again. They are really weak. Uh, they're really not used to training properly. Um, I don't want to dive, you know, right in the deep end straight away. I uh, just want to ease into it really on this first week back. It's all about those little changes eating better being more active going for walks regularly like i used to do getting back on a turbo trainer probably back in the pool at some point uh, and just getting more active um, to build up a base again like i had before uh, my last event was the outlaw uh, 70.3 half distance triathlon which was back in uh, may i think it was and so that's the last event i did that was the last time i was actually relatively fit um not super fit just fit for me and so that's the sort of uh state that i want to get back into you know work back towards that sort of fitness level so i'm just going to see how it goes um i'm going to do my run and then after that i will go into a little brief details about why i've been absent for the last couple of months uh, why I stopped training um, and sort of what's been happening with me so gonna get the watch sorted out uh, I've got my headphones the Aftershocks headphones on uh, I've got my Phoenix 6 on and heart rate monitor so I'm gonna get all that set up and I'm gonna go for it and see how it goes so see you in a few minutes probably that is the workout done and uh, I am a lot more unfit than I realized uh, quite a difficult embarrassingly a little bit of a difficult run because i'm not just not used to exercising really which is a little bit depressing uh, but i've been here before and uh, consistency i know for a fact pays off so i'm just gonna ignore all these short-term feelings ignore all the um you know the unfitness i feel and just remain as consistent as i can and as active as i can to try and build back up to what i had before so it's 27 minutes um, which includes the, the walking segments uh, so a total of two miles running uh, which is not a bad start to the week being Monday it's my first day like I said so just getting back into it um, so that's it done for now I'm going to go back home and uh, do some uh, weights some strength work just very light stuff body weight probably and uh, then I will update you on uh, my reasons for being absent from YouTube and not posting on Strava and, and being uh, inactive really so let's get back home and I'll update you there. I said to you that I wanted to update you on some personal news uh, that news uh, relates to my dad who's not been very well I was really in two minds about whether to share this but uh, part of me wants to share it because I want to justify why I've not been training justify my absence from YouTube um, and I know not many people follow this channel or follow me or really ha have much of an interest but you know, I still feel passionately about health and fitness and the fact I've not been doing any, you know, I just want to explain why that is. And the other reason for sharing it is to raise awareness. So I will mention it in other videos in the next however many months or years, depending on what happens. So uh, my dad uh, is 67 years old and uh, an ex-army soldier, ex-police officer, very fit, very healthy was always running, bike riding, very active, a very slim man, not, never overweight. And uh, up until maybe six months ago, he was very fit and healthy and no major issues as far as I knew. Um, he then started to become quite unsteady on his feet. Um, and over time and doctor's appointments, they uh, began to suggest Parkinson's disease. Um, and that was what all of the tests, as far as I'm, I was understood, Standing, they were all geared around around Parkinson's and ensuring that diagnosis was correct. Uh, around maybe 
I'd, maybe four weeks ago or maybe a bit longer I can't even remember now but sometime recently um, in this period of absence uh, he collapsed at home or fell over at home for like the tenth time or something he kept doing this and uh, ambulance was called out and he was taken into hospital quite urgently uh, whilst in hospital uh, brain scans revealed he had suffered a stroke uh, my understanding is it's uh, a fairly minor stroke, if that even is such a thing, or at least it was one that uh, was uh, not the major issue, if that makes sense. They were just they just identified that as part of uh, their testing. In the in the space of about four weeks, uh, it's now moved on past Parkinson's, and they have now pretty much diagnosed as uh, a special type of dementia called Lewy body dementia. This is apparently quite common. I'd never heard of that particular strain of dementia before, but it's very, very commonly mixed up with Parkinson's, which is why I mentioned Parkinson's in the beginning. And uh, some of the symptoms include similar um, issues such as uh, tremors, uh, shaking muscles, uh, unsteadiness. So it is quite easily misdiagnosed. And unfortunately, uh, he's become really, really severely, uh, his health has severely declined in the space of four plus weeks or whatever it's been. So like I said, six months ago, he was fit, healthy, relatively normal. Uh, there was the beginnings of some physical issues, but we were all under the impression that it was being dealt with as Parkinson's and the medical um, options around that is actually very good. So we were just waiting for the diagnosis to be done, waiting for the medication to be sorted out. As it stands now, it's looking a lot more bleak. Um, the Lewy body dementia, uh, unfortunately, has meant that he's had a massive uh, decline in mental ability to the point that uh, he can't really use his phone, he can't use iPads, he can't um, walk, uh, he can't um, uh, really hold a proper conversation anymore he always gets confused he thinks you know he's he, he's waiting for a, a lift somewhere or he thinks he's uh, waiting to go to work or he gets very easily confused so even video calling him is not an option um, phone calling is very difficult because he just gets confused uh, and uh, he lives around an hour and a half uh, car journey from me so getting to see him is time consuming uh, expensive and with work and you know my own life whatever remains of that at the minute it's just hard to um plan those journeys in and that that, that time to see him but the last four weeks or whatever it's five six, five weeks whatever it's been as you can imagine i've been visiting him uh, more more often than exercising or hobbies or what, what my own time has been taken up with that especially because at the minute he is in hospital, he's not in a care home. He will end up in a care home very, very soon. We just need to get one um, where there's a space in which is suitable for his care, uh, which leads on to other things like finances, like I'm trying to sort out all the money for that side of things, trying to locate his savings, his pension, all that kind of the logistics, basically. So, yeah, for the past four weeks, five weeks, um, training has taken a back seat for that reason. Um, when I've not been visiting, I've not been, when I've not been visiting him, I've not really been in the mood to exercise, uh, and I've just not been motivated. Um, I said earlier in this clip, in this video, that today's day one because I need to try and live with this. I don't know how long he will uh, survive. You know, uh, he it could be years and years. His quality of life is pretty poor, but if it's years and years, you know, I need to have. I need to keep on living my own life as well. So, uh, yeah, that's it. I'm not going to bang on too much about it. Um, but I will mention this, the medical stuff at some points in other videos because it'd be great if I could raise awareness of it. It's really common. Again, I've never heard of Louis the Body Dementia, but it is common. Um, when I've been doing my own research on social media and on the internet, loads of people have had the same thing happen to them or their relatives where it was misdiagnosed as Parkinson's and they've ended up in the same place I am now and my dad is now. So I'm going to raise awareness. I'm going to maybe do something for charity, which I've never done before. Um, so if I can get some fitness back, you know, I'm going to look at doing some uh, runs or triathlons next year potentially um, and maybe do something positive, uh, which you know, would help me focus on something and give me an outlet. 
so yeah that is it um i'm gonna leave it there but uh if you can leave a comment if you like and like and all that sort of stuff i would appreciate it uh, and thank you for watching hopefully it's not been too depressing an end uh but i wanted to share that news with you and uh, thanks for listening so i'll see you next time